Hey guys, my name is Angelia, and welcome to the very first part of my City Living LP. I'm so excited to get started on this one, you have no idea. Um, there is no intro currently to this series, but I am in the process of creating one. I just, I was so excited to get this one out to you guys and to record it, so please excuse the no intro for this episode and maybe the next one. Um, I just want time to create a really good intro and I don't want it to, you know, just to be kind of haphazardly thrown together and all that fun stuff, but I did want to go ahead and introduce you to the characters I'm going to be playing with. If you have been watching my Create a Sim series for the Dead by Daylight characters, then you already know all these guys. Um, so first, and certainly not, uh, I was going to say certainly not last, it totally does not apply. Um, but first off, we have Mr. Jake Park. I am opening my notebook to be next to me because I did write down some notes on their backstories and stuff. Um, so Jake has an older brother who graduated from Yale. His dad is a very wealthy CEO. He has very high hopes for his son out in the big city. Um, and you know, I am sort of setting this after Dead by Daylight. They are young adults here instead of teenagers. Um, and they basically all bonded over the experience that they had. So I'm basically saying that they survived the horrific evening um, with the serial killer, and they became very close friends afterwards, so something good came out of being chased in the forest by a homicidal maniac, you know, as as it happens. Um, he is currently at odds with his father, though. They don't quite get, a, get along or see eye to eye. His dad's expecting a lot out of him, and Jake just doesn't want to do it. He's not really into that type of lifestyle, you know, being a business CEO and stuff like that. He just wants to be him, he wants to be outside and hang out. Um, he is very close to his mother though, and his mother actually has been the one to sort of support him financially, so he does get like some money from her. Um, I, I still need to implement that into his household because I completely forgot about it when I was setting it up, but he does get some money from his mother. Um, and I think I'm going to have him be in the politician career, um, just to, he's going to be trying to appease his father, you know, trying to get along with him and all that stuff, but um, I'm going to quickly show you some of his outfits. Um, I kind of stuck with the green theme. I did try to use a lot of the city living stuff just because I really want to make good use out of it. Um, and he looks quite good, I think. Um, all of their, like, first daytime or what, everyday outfits, they are the ones that you guys saw in the videos. Um, this is his formal wear. I did give him a second one. Athletic wear is the same. I did give him another sleepwear though. Pretty standard. Um, so this is his cool party wear. I did this funky thing. It was, this was a style look actually, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna use it. Um, his swimmer is the same. So let's jump over to Mr. Dwight Fairfield. I did change his everyday shirt just because it was a little bit too dressy. For the creative sim, obviously it was fine, but for this, not so much. I actually forgot to go over this. Um, so his uh, aspiration is a renaissance sim. So he gets the quick learner trait from it. He loves the outdoors, he is good, and he is active. Um, for Dwight, he wants to be leader of the pack. I thought that was perfect because one of Dwight's parks is actually called Leader. So I was like, you know what, we're gonna do that one. Um, he is good, he is a geek, and he- or geek, rather, and he is neat. Um, this is Dwight's first look. I'm just gonna quickly go through the looks really fast. Um, I really like this one on him because he's kind of a wannabe jock. Um, actually, let me go and read some of his stuff. He is a geek. He tried- to be cool in school. It just didn't work out for him. You know, he was one of those guys, he tried so hard to get in with the cool crowd, just did not work for him. Um, he used to be a pizza delivery boy when he was a teenager and all of that fun stuff. I basically gave him the same formal look, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, just in a different color. Kept that the same. Um, I did give him this nifty thing for nightwear. I'm pretty sure this is Asian inspired, but I was like, this looks like nightwear, so this will totally work for Dwight. It's kind of right up his alley. Um, I did, he still has this like pizza uniform thing on here um, in this funky Hawaiian shirt. I actually need to give him another um, party wear outfit. Um, and swimwear is pretty standard. Um, he tried out for the football and basketball teams when he was in high school. Both of them did not work out, but he still likes to try to play basketball in his free time, so we are going to be exploring the basketball thing with him. Um, and he is a natural leader still, even though he was a bit of a nerd. Um, we're going to actually move on to Claudette next. She is a freelance- oh, her aspiration is a freelance botanist, so she gets the collector 
trait. Um, she loves the outdoors. She's good. And I gave her the vegetarian trait. It just kind of seemed to fit. I also think she's going to be our social media career person just because Claudette spent a lot of time in like chat rooms and stuff because she's very shy and she could only really have conversations with people in chat rooms and stuff like that. So I thought that would be kind of perfect if she was in the social media career. Um, she loves science and experiments and she loves plants and working with them. I really liked this like sweater and dress combo. I don't know why. I thought it was really cute on her and it's sort of fitting for her personality. Um, I also wanted to like tap into, obviously she is definitely not a white pasty girl, but I really wanted to tap into that side of her. So I really wanted to use this head wrap. So I decided to, um, and I think it's like a nice contrast to what you normally see Claudette in. It's a nice, like, Hey, this is her culture and she's embracing it now as an adult when she might not have as a teenager. Um, I really like this one on her as well. I try to stick with a lot of greens on her. Um, I put on the new boots for her because those remind me of some of her boots in the game. Um, so that formal wore still the same, but I did give her this really pretty yellow one. I thought it was really cute on her. Um, that's the same. I did go ahead and give her another sleepwear, again with the head wrap, which I thought this looked amazing all together. And this is kind of like a perfect sleep look, if you ask me. Um, and I did go ahead and give her this for her extra party wear one. Um, she loves botany. She's very introverted and shy, as I said, and she regularly, like, makes posts and forums and everything, so definitely going to be doing the social media career with her. Let me just turn my page real fast. Um, so next up, we have my girl, Mega Thomas. Um, I gave her the City Native aspiration because, I don't know, this feels pretty fitting for her in particular. Um, so she now has the Home Turf trait. She is active, loves the outdoors, and she is definitely ambitious. Um, so you guys have all seen this look on her. Um, I gave her this one. I really wasn't sure what to dress her in, because Meg's a little bit hard to dress. Like, I don't know if she's particularly girly or not. Um, she is into, like, sports and stuff, but she wears a lot of pink as well, so I think she's girly while remaining active, if that makes sense. Um, so her dad actually left her when she was a baby left her with her mom. And this is her mom down here that I added. She is in the world. She is in another apartment. Um, just obviously she's not living with them. Um, she's very fierce and headstrong. She knows what she wants and she's going to go for it the second she sees it. Um, she was very, very good in school, but she got bored really easily because of it. So joining the track team wound up keeping her grounded while she was in school. Um, and she did give us Oh, she did get a scholarship for college, but she wound up giving it up to take care of her mom because her mom fell ill. So uh, that's why her mom is in the world. I have it so that basically she grew up in San Maishuno. That's where I'm going with that one. Um, I really liked this outfit on her. I wanted to stick with the pink theme and I put little earrings on her. I think she looks really cute. Um, and I really, I loved this romper so much that I put it on Meg as well. Oh, I didn't even notice this like back detail. That's amazing. Um, and again, I stuck with the pink theme for her. I've already seen that one, but this one's new. This is obviously came with the pack. Um, I think I gave her a second. Yeah, I gave her the basketball jersey with the uh, short or whatever jersey with the short hair. Just to, like a nice little throwback to the game because Meg does have a short hairstyle look in the game. Just pretend it works. Just pretend you can go from short hair to long hair in a split second. Um, and I decided to give her the same one while sleeping with the new pants. Mm. Um, party wear, she wound up getting three. Um, because I really liked this dress on her, but not enough for, like, everyday wear. And I really wanted them to have, you know, some sort of, like, club-type outfits, just so they could go out in the city and have some fun. Um, and her swimswear is still the same. Um, and last but not least, we have Miss Nia Carlson. She is Swedish. She is known for being a tagger and an artist. She is very passionate about her art, but um, her aspiration is Chief of Mischief because she does get in trouble quite a bit with the law, so she has the dastardly trait. She's a loner, she's active, and she's unflirty. I felt this to be pretty... I don't know, I, I really liked that trait for her. Like, it felt right to me to put that on to Nia. Um, Nia, I really think, is adorable. She... I still think even over Meg, she might be my favorite one that I created. I really think I did a pretty good job on her face. Um, she's had a lot of run-ins with the cops, so she's very good at running and all that fun stuff. Um, and she is very adventurous and daring, and she, you know, she just wants to grip life by the handlebars and go for it. 
Um, I try to go with the more daring sort of look for her when it comes to, like, picking out pieces. Because normally I wouldn't do, like, scale, snakeskin looking things. But, um, I thought it really suited her personality quite well. So, uh, I don't know. I thought it worked. Because she has some really funky pants in the game now ever since that 80s DLC came out. Um, give this cool Ramones t-shirt, you know, got the Converse on. Standard look. Um, and this one I really loved. I... I don't know, I really love the combination of all these colors, and this really seems like something Nia would wear. It's, it's a little artsy to me. I don't know. I like it. Um, formal wear, I did change the color of her top. Um, then I also gave her this cute little black number with these pretty... Uh, are those classified as boots or just like anklet shoes? I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and move over to sleepwear. So she still has this shirt and underwear combo, but I did go ahead and give her this because... Again, I really see Nia as being this very, you know, she throws all her cares out the window and all that fun stuff. Um, and party wear, we got this look going on, I thought she looked hot. And yeah, that's about it for intros. This is Meg's mother. She is in the world. Um, I'm not gonna really go through an intro for her, but that's her mom. Um, so I'm gonna pause here, and I will be back with you guys in just a second once we actually get into San Maishuno and I load up my save and all that fun stuff, so I'll see you guys in just a moment. Alright guys, we're back. We're in San Maishuno. Um, her mom, I believe, lives in here. Yeah, her mom lives right here. Um, but we actually live in the Spice District. I did separate the boys and the girls, so the boys have their own apartment, and so do the girls, but they do live on the same floor in the same apartment building. I just thought it would be better to sort of have them separated so we could, um, I don't know, just have more one-on-one -on -one time with them. I guess. I don't know. Um, it, it, it would be easier to handle, especially with so many sims. I don't think five people could fit in one of these tinier apartments. Um, so once we start making more money, we will be moving them in all together and in, obviously into a bigger apartment. Um, I do have my eye on one in the uh, arts district for them eventually. Um, and we're going to progress through the neighborhoods. That's what I really want to do with this LP in particular. Is to really earn our money and to get up there, you know, and just do do the thing. Um, so their only lot trait, they only had that one? I thought they had more. Oh, it's not showing me their freaking house. Well, that's awkward. This is really weird, like, we're literally at your house. I don't understand. Um, I think it's glitched. <laughs> that could just be me, but I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure it's glitched. Um, huh? This is weird. Let me pop back out over to here. I'm a little confused. Like, it's showing them as not being home. I'm really lost right now. Um... I just want to show the apartment. Why are you being weird? They were legit in the apartment when I left them, so I don't know why. <laughs> We're in like a rabbit hole outside of our apartment. Okay, yes, I'm aware. Wait, did it like sell our apartment? I'm pretty sure this one's no. Which one is our apartment? Is it this one? I think this one is ours. This one is ours. Why? I'm so confused. What? Okay, what about if we travel with them? Alright, so let's, let's just go somewhere. Let's, um... Let's go here. Why not? Actually, no. Can we go to the spice market? No, that's downstairs. Okay, let's just go here. Let's just travel, um, and then maybe when we go back it'll work. 
This kind of blows. That's not working. Has anyone else had this glitch yet? Or is it just me? I mean, I can't be the only one that's having this issue right now. Yeah, they were legit at home. Alright, so we are all here now. Um, you know what? While we're here, we might as well just hang out and experience some stuff that the city has to offer. Um, it looks like we have some stuff going on down here. Can you go read that for me, Meg? Oh, we got some food carts. Okay, let's let's order some stuff, man. Um She could order the spinach wrap veggie burrito. I don't know what this card is. It's not open. What's the card? What's the thing saying, Meg? Future Sim Labs present Inventicon. Inventicon will challenge the best and brightest of the world. You, you will have 48 hours to design and create the invention of your dreams. If you think you have what it takes to be the next Bill Hawkins, then sign up today. That's pretty cool. Um, so Claudette is ordering some food. She's eating her fun little veggie wrap. Um, why don't you go toss a coin there, Meg? Um, let's go watch this performance. Oh, I should have Nia. That's really cool. Go spray some graffiti. That's totally up her alley. And I'll have Meg come over here. <laughs> And go tip her. Yeah, you don't have to watch her anymore, Nia. I really want you to do that street art. Um, and then once the timer goes off, I'll try to get them back to their house. Oh, are you... Are you done now? Go tip her. By produce? That's cool. I should have Claudette do that. Oh, Jake's here. Um, okay, I don't think Meg would have a thing, but I'm gonna have her go practice some dribbling. This is so cool. So it looks like our first convention is gonna be Inventicon, which I'm pretty stoked about. Oh, this is really cool. Oh my gosh. This will make things like so much easier. Um, what are the ones that give you a lot of money? I think blackberries do. So I'm gonna buy four of those. No, let's just buy one grape. I don't know how much plantains give us. I'm just like buying stuff that I know will make us money. Uh, yeah, let's just buy those. That's really cool. She's still eating this freaking wrap. Congratulations, Claudette has taken her first steps on her culinary journey through the city. Eating food from the city unlocks the ability to cook it. There are 26 more recipes to learn. Get out and try more food. So cool. The only bad thing is that Claudette can't eat all of it. Um, if only because she's um she's a vegetarian, so we can't exactly do that. Um, I'm looking for like those boxes that are everywhere. Yes. Meg. Meg. This is your job now. You have been chosen. You are the chosen one. Why are you shooting from all the way over here, honey? You little dork. What are you doing? I really want to show up the apartment. Doesn't like me. Oh, that must be for like the romance festival. Alright, so she's gonna go search through this box and let's see what we can find in here. From the dusty depths of the free box, Mega's recovered one cooking volume two. Let's keep cooking. Cool. That's really cool. Alright, how is your painting going over here, Nia? Not very well. You're not even close to being done, so I'm gonna end that. Let's um go ahead and travel and get them back home. I think that's Dwight right there. <laughs> Just hanging out. Okay, let's see if we can get this to work. Let's go home. Please work. Fingers crossed. I don't know why I just like kept them in the little lobby area. So 
Please work. I'm like crossing my fingers in real life right now. Yes! Okay! We are in our freaking apartment. Alright, so I did go ahead and give it a slight makeover. Um, just like the wall colors and I add some splashes of color. We didn't really go over budget. As you can see, we have a decent amount left over from when we moved in. This apartment was relatively cheap um, and it's not dirty or anything. Everything's clean. We do have this haunted placard thing over here. I haven't actually had anyone read it, so I'm going to have her actually come over here and read it. In memory of Walden White, the landlord has one rule. The historical plaque dedicated to a former resident can never be removed or sold. It's pretty cool. Um, so I did add some funky colors in here because they're girls and everything, and I really wanted some bright colors. Um, this TV came with it, but I put it on a different stand. This rug also came with it. Obviously, this didn't, and this didn't. Um, the kitchen remains exactly the same, so I just added two more chairs. Um, the bathroom's the same, except for the floor in this. Um, and in the bedroom, there was only one bed, so obviously I put in some three... Well, I put in three beds, and there's a little corner desk with a computer. I did splurge on the computer. I did buy the new one. Um, so this is a new one from City Living, so it's curved, and I it's, it's pink. It's so cute. Um, and we have this funky dresser and this, like, mosaic carpet thing. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where we're at with the girls. Um, in the next episode, we'll definitely be exploring the boys' ones, too. It's not as great. Um, it's, it's a little gross, I'm not gonna lie. Um, they should all have beds claimed, yeah. Um, and sorry if you're the garage. My dad is currently going to work. Um, <laughs> so awkward. Um, I'd really like to know what this placard says. Are you done reading it? Yes. This location has been deemed a site of historical significance by the city council. Hmm. Alright. Um, so what I also wanted to do was while we are here, I didn't want to pick this tree without you guys. So, um, we live at 18 Culpepper House, which is pretty cool. Um, so currently our... Oh, I can actually remove the haunted thing. But this uh, apartment is historical. Um, so I think that's this right here. Yeah, that's the historical part of it. It's also haunted. Um, I think I'm going to leave that. But I want to add something fun, you know? Um... Definitely not on the ley line one, because we don't really need that. The gnomes would be cool, as would the penny pixies, but I kind of want to go for something not as cool. Let's do the, um... Wait, what's this one? This would actually be really good for them, but I think I'm going to go with Quake Zone. Occasionally, there's a minor tre tremor here. Probably nothing to be a worried about. Probably nothing to be worried about. So I think I'm going to go with that one. Why not? So yeah, this is their apartment. How excited are you guys to like see the rest of this LP? I'm so excited for it. Um, before we go though, I do want to start getting them some jobs. Um, find a job. Um, I don't know what I want to have Nia do just yet. Um, actually, I think I wanted to do the art critic thing with her. So I'm going to have her find a job as well. Meg, uh, we'll, we'll worry about Meg in a minute. I don't... I'm not sure what I want to have Meg do just yet. Alright, so this is Claudette. Um, so we are going to do... Where, where did it go? The social media career. Media intern. Um, you can do internet personality or public relations. We'll probably do internet personality for her. Um, so Nia, we are going to do... The critic career um, and we'll probably be doing the arts critic for her. Does this mean she works every day and she has that off or she works that I don't know we'll just we'll just go there we'll just deal with it as we go along <laughs> I'm not too sure um so I'm gonna actually have Claudette come over here and do her social media profile Work assignment. Create social media profile. Should Claudette Morrill get a jump start and accept the assignment? Of course. Work assignment. Level up writing skills. Should Nia Carlson get a jump start and accept the assignment? Of course. I love this. I love that you can work from home. And I love that it feels like an actual open city. Like, you can actually just go down here and hang out. And, I oh don't know, I love it. I love seeing, like, the parked cars and people walking around that you can't really interact with. But it's really cool. Um, but before we do part ways with our lovely crew, we are going to go to Manage Worlds, and I do want to go check out the boys' apartment real fast with you guys. 
Hopefully it'll not take forever and a day to load. Come on. I like removed a lot of my CC recently, so... Alright, let's just, um, let's play Dwight because he's actually home. Um, it actually looked like the girls were at his house, which is weird. I don't know exactly how this is happening and why it's getting so screwed up, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, whatever. My sims should be where I left them, but clearly that was not the case. Um, so this is their lovely apartment, and I use the term lovely very loosely. Um, so this is a very used sofa. So is this. Um, they do have a pretty nice TV though, I must say. It's a pretty darn nice TV. Um, they do have a keyboard, uh, they have a bunch of foldy chairs, and all of their furniture and stuff is like completely worn down and disgusting. Um, there's a random drain pipe right there. It's, it's pretty gross. <laughs> there's some pipes right here as well. Um, this is pretty disgusting. Nia looks like she's taking out some trash right there. See, they do live very close. They're very close neighbors. Um, their beds are worn. I'm pretty sure this is actually Jake's room because I feel like he's less fussy. Like, he just, you know, he wants the bare minimum stuff. Um, and there's also a little mouse hole here and here. So, uh, this is gonna be quite interesting to see how it pans out. Can they actually do anything with this? No. Um, can you go home? I am going to get him involved with the job as well. Actually, no, I'm going to wait till the next part for that. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this first part of City Living. I'm so excited to really dive into it and everything. And I can't wait to start the next episode. And I hope you enjoyed this part. And I will see you next time. Bye!